Greetings, Lens developers. Today, we're venturing into an important area, optimizing for performance in lens development, a key factor for your lens's success. The exciting news is that Lens Studio includes a lens performance toolkit. This feature provides actionable insights in order for you to make lenses that are leaner, speedier, and more efficient. In this tutorial, we'll be diving into why lens performance matters, how the Lens Performance Toolkit works, and what the various metrics mean, along with tips on how to enhance performance. It's all about fine-tuning your lens for a better end-user experience and wider reach. Let's dive in. You may wonder, why is lens performance so important? Consider this. A poorly performing lens degrades the experience, lowers engagement, and reduces your lens's visibility on Snapchat. By analyzing performance and refining your lenses, you ensure a better user experience and can increase lens discoverability since Snapchat rewards better performing lenses with improved visibility. Let's get into the nuts and bolts. The Lens Performance Toolkit is your go-to for lens optimization, designed to deliver essential performance metrics and highlight potential issues through an intuitive interface. The dashboard can be accessed either by selecting the Performance button on the main toolbar or by navigating to Window, Panels, Lens Performance Toolkit. To evaluate lens performance effectively, data should be sourced from the lens operating on a representative device. Simply pair your device to start this process. Post pairing, the dashboard begins populating data, which includes lens size on disk, memory or RAM usage, FPT or frame processing time, and lens activation time. The dashboard also presents some more asset-specific data like snap ML size and remote asset storage usage. Each metric is categorized as good, fair, or bad. If there is a need for optimization, an improve button will appear in the dashboard taking you to our optimization best practices from Lens Studio documentation. But what do these metrics signify and how can they be used for enhancing performance? Let's start with lens activation time. Lens activation time is the speed at which your lens activates. You want this number to be as low and therefore as fast as possible. Quicker activation times are favorable as delayed activation can also cost you engagement if it's too low. Lens size influences load time and user experience. As expected, a smaller size is better. The larger your lens, the longer the load time, creating a bottleneck for the Snapchatters experiencing it. The maximum is eight megabytes. Memory refers to the space your lens occupies in a device's RAM. Keep this under 150 megabytes, but the goal here is also to keep it small. Lower memory usage leads to smoother device operation. FPT, or frame processing time, is the amount of time taken to process a single frame on the CPU. The lower the FPT, the faster your lens processes and the smoother your lens will look. This results in a more polished and engaging user experience. Each lens has unique performance requirements. There's no universal solution, but general best practices can definitely help. We've provided a link to our detailed guide in the video description, but for now, here are some key tips. Firstly, remember to test your lens across various devices. Lower-end Android devices can be particularly revealing of performance issues. You can improve lens activation time and FPS by using simpler materials, optimizing textures, reducing object numbers, and limiting vertex counts. Improving memory or RAM usage involves keeping object count low, using performance texture compression, and limiting animation length. Optimizing lens size, a vital step affecting download times and storage space, involves refining 3D models, textures, texture transparency, and audio assets. Keep in mind, no texture should exceed a resolution of 2048 by 2048, and all audio assets should employ MP3 compression. 
Before submitting your lens, review these metrics and optimize any areas showing poor performance. Snapchatters will appreciate it. In conclusion, lens performance isn't just important, it's pivotal to the reach and engagement of your lens. And with the Lens Performance Toolkit, you have a helpful tool right inside Lens Studio. Happy optimizing, everyone.